Welcome to another episode of College Foodie TV. I'm your host, Martin Milan, and today we are at Chinito's Burritos in the beautiful northeast section of Washington, D.C. Now, I've heard of Tex-Mex, you've heard of Tex-Mex, but I've never actually heard of Asia Mex, which is where we're at and what they do at Chinito's Burritos. So we're gonna go talk to chef and owner, Jin Chong, and see what exactly makes this place so special. Now that's cool. Now not every place you ever go into has a garage door and graph on the wall, but this one does. Okay, so I know we have some Asian Mexican inspired food, but what inspired the garage door and the graph? The garage door was, I, I kind of foresaw the future of uh, Florida being four lanes instead of six and eventually wanted to have uh, outside seating. And, oh wow. Yeah, absolutely. And as far as the graffiti is concerned, uh, when I was growing up from Chicago, um, graffiti was a big part of my life. So I got one of the best graffiti writers I could find, an all-time legend in D.C. You did an amazing job, I love it. Um, everyone, everyone comes in and just like really like, wow, that just stands out. Yeah, we man, have a so. chef with street cred. It's, it's, it's about respect. <laughs> so if I go to Chicago right now, I can still roam around the, the L and find some tags. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All day. How'd you come up with the name Chinito's Burritos? I've been in the hospitality industry my whole life, and the name that I was given, because you know, I was in the kitchen, uh, was Chinita. And it stuck with me for many, many, many years. And uh, it's an enduring term for me, I guess, because <laughs> all my friends call me that, and my, well, everyone calls me that. Neighbors, and family members. How did you come up with what's on your menu? Well, I wanted to add a little bit of Asian flair to my food. Um, at the same time, incorporate these ingredients with um, Spanish ingredients. And believe it or not, a lot of the ingredients are very similar. It's just kind of incorporated. Ground beef, carne asada, pork shoulder. Grilled teriyaki kind of stands out. The Szechuan slaw. You have a Tex-Mex egg roll. So it just adds that different element where we're fresh prep. We're using great ingredients to incorporate so you can make your own burrito. We've got a lot of, a lot of toppings. and. Um, and some other things that guests really wanted to see on the menu. Um, we are a fresh prep place, so we do shop daily. Meaning it's, I've got a market, a huge market that pretty much, you know, distributes food around the, the metropolitan area. And uh, when we first opened this establishment, we didn't really advertise or market ourselves. And the reason for that was, um, we were food focused. Right. Being food focused is extremely important for us because we wanted to get the food, the quality, the service, everything right. Now, if we were to advertise and be like, hey, open the doors, you know, have signs outside and glamour lights and cameras and all this other stuff, then what would happen when I have 500 people and I couldn't service them? Right. Those 500 people are going to tell a 1,000 people that they hate the place. But instead, we just open the door slowly, we turn on the open sign, just wait it here, like, okay, first guest, we're good. And the first guest came in. We work right over here across the street, so it's like our local thing. And it's great. Hot sauce is amazing here. Uh, so much to choose from. The ingredients seem fresh. Uh, salad. I usually get the bowl just because uh, I'm Indian and you know I gotta get my hands in there and use the tortillas. So you know how we do. So good stuff. Chinitos, I love you. I always get the tacos because they're a good size and just all the ingredients are really fresh and I like how they have kind of like a, like Asian fusion of teriyaki chicken and the hot sauce is really good. Overall, yeah. I, I love this place, we come here once or twice a week. Yeah, this is definitely not our first time. We've been coming here for a few months now. I think they've only been open for a few months, so we've been doing that. And, uh, the, the hot sauce is amazing here. They make everything fresh, like all the desserts are fresh, like everything is crazy here. I, I really don't usually like fusion places, but um, something about the way he puts things together just really work out. I don't really, I also don't mean to be sweating, but that sauce is crazy right now, so I'm burning up, you know. Chinito's Burritos is directly across the street from Gallaudet University. And Gallaudet is the only liberal arts university for the deaf in the entire world. Um, knowing that it is a deaf uh, college, I made my restaurant deaf friendly, which now I'm considered deaf friendly. Um, by ordering the way we do with the cards, it's very uh, descriptive, not to mention very detailed to exactly what you want and the way you want it and uh, you can see the whole process from start to finish as far as the ordering, the uh, exchange of money, 
to the actual um, creation of your burrito to you actually getting it, putting it in a bag. Yeah.